and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team Leader, guys. And today, first and foremost, happy Thanksgiving, guys. It's it's Thanksgiving. You know, time's really flown since the first video we made back in August, or I should say the end of July for the first Madden video. And it's already, it's already Thanksgiving. It's pretty crazy. Went through Halloween, Thanksgiving, almost Christmas at this point. Like, it's almost the New Year's. Like, this year's went really, really quick. So, guys, I'm going to post about three. <coughs> Ooh, I'm post about three times today. Get only three in the day because I know you guys will be busy with your families and stuff. So, I'm going to get three done. Hopefully, have them all up by about five. Watch what you guys kind of understand. Today's a family day, so should have got the content for all you guys. You know, all the people who may not be that busy or may have some free time. Watch these videos. But yeah, other than that, enjoy the day with your families. I hope you guys do have a great Thanksgiving. I'm gonna get this all done nice and early so I can go, you know, spend time with my family and my girlfriend and everything. So let's get these videos done today. Hopefully, you guys enjoy all of them. Now, before we get into the video, guys, be sure to down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, come join the family, boys. We hit 13k. Thank you so much for that. So we hit 13k right on Thanksgiving. That's awesome. Thank you guys for that. And guys, in the, in the spirit of Thanksgiving, smash that like button. Let's see how many likes we can get on Thanksgiving. I appreciate each and every one of you that come out every day to show support, and especially on a holiday like such as today. But let's get into the video. So I'm preparing you guys for the incoming market crash now. I think it's gonna happen no matter what. I really don't think there's an option here. So now if we look at prices right now, 86 to 87, starting at this point, they're going for about 36K. They're already pretty cheap. Now the 87s, if you guys don't remember, these at one point were expensive again. And I said to sell them, and now they came back down. Now here's what we have to expect in the next three days, right? There is going to be, whatever comes out today from Thanksgiving, the blitz promo blitz packs blitz offers blitz solos blitz house rules nfl 100 do i have to say more that is going to destroy now the only way the only way this doesn't destroy the market the only way is if the blitz promo gives us a more than enough training options to allow us to somewhat stop the damage because see it's gonna it's gonna crash like here and then if they, they throw some training offers it might come up a little bit because people need training but other than that the market's gonna die i i mean my personal recommendation like i said right now it's too cheap you might want to wait at least till later to see if they drop a training offer for the first blitz because if they i doubt they will for the first one but if they did it would at least save prices a little bit but at this point you're what you got is what you got like if you if you already committed to your team like i think it might already be too late to sell because if you look at it, the prices are too cheap. Like you could sell and salvage what you got, but I'll, as we get up more in prices, I'll, I'll speak more on that. Obviously, at the moment, I'm, I'm staying. I'm staying at hold, right? Because it might come down more, but at the end, the long in the long run, you're not gonna be able to make coins if you sell now. You're gonna sell low. So let's go on up a little bit so we can see a better, like get a better understanding for what you can potentially sell. 88s are in the 50k range. Where are the 89s sitting at right now? Let's see where the 89s. 89 sitting at 79k. That's about standard. I mean, again. It's, it's gonna be a tough situation, right? Because if you sell now and then they all come down later at midnight, you make you make a decent amount of coins and you, you save some coins, right? But on the contrary, if you sell now and then they drop the trading off first and price come up a little bit, then you lose a little bit. Or what if they drop a fire fantasy pack at midnight? And then you know it just it's gonna be very it's gonna be a very very tricky situation that you guys are gonna want to play. I already went over the guide yesterday, so make sure you go check out that coin guide yesterday, going over exactly how to play the splits promo. But it all depends on the first offer. The first offer is going to set the trend for the rest. So we have to really see how they're going to attack this. Now, I said over to the 1991s. I feel like these prices are a little bit more viable to look at. So the 90s actually are going for about 119. So it's weird that it's that expensive. So that does mean people are stocking up on training, guys. That means people are stocking up on training because for every other card to be so cheap, but the cards that are typically good trading values to be so expensive. Guys, personal recommendation. If you got cards in the 90s maybe just sell a few i know you should be happy I, I didn't say stock up your training i said have a have enough in case there's an offer like in case there's an offer for 2000 2, 000, have like 5000 just on hand i wouldn't invest heavily into it anymore because they did say they said two things there's number global limits which means that the 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 rush to training won't be as heavy there will be a rush but it won't be as heavy and i went over this yesterday and in the guide as well as there will be blitz bolt currency so who even knows if they'll even use that much training if any so i wouldn't recommend that you guys 
you know, stock up hundreds of thousands of trading. I said, have some on hand because having some on hand doesn't mean you're, you're investing in the blitz. It means that you have some on hand for you, your team, your cards. And if, if so happened, there's a blitz, you happen to also have it on hand. It's like having a bunch of coins, it's like you don't have to use it or you, you didn't get it just for the purpose of this. You just have it. So as you can see, the nineties are looking like they're pretty high in price as of the 91s. Guys, honestly, with the market probably bound to crash, I'd recommend you maybe even put some feelers out and sell some 91s because I feel like this is the height of where if the trending went up, where it would probably hit up to. Probably get these probably get up to like 140, 150-ish. But if you sell them now, a few of you probably get a decent return on these cards and just wait for things to come down significantly because like I said, if there is no training tonight, these cards will plummet, especially if they drop like a Fire Fantasy Pack or any kind of Legend Fantasy Pack bundles or anything that's like really cheap or a, good, a great or like a crazy deal for Blitz or Black Friday, guys. I promise you, if they do such thing, you're going to wish that you had sold them already. Because I I already know how this works. It was like the Christmas promo, right? Up until the last few days, snow was up here. The second the last blitz offer hit and there was no snow anymore to use, done. Done. Right there. Now, people, there's still going to be hope because remember, there's three days. People aren't going to just sell right away. But you have to anticipate that people are going to start losing faith. And that is when you can start sniping. So tonight, later tonight, I'd recommend when the first offer drops, if it's not training, see if you can snipe some training out. That'd probably be a really good option. But there is going to be a crash. NFL 100 broke the market last week. And now you can combine NFL 100 with the Blitz with Thanksgiving, with people spending tons of money on Microsoft points. So, you know, Xbox currency to go open packs. Like, I just, it's going to be like, oh, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. I'll probably have to sit on my Madden app while I'm out Black Friday shop and trying to see if I can get some snipes because I mean, I don't have many coins. I definitely got to build this coin stack back up. But now is definitely not the time to be buying. Let's move on up to the 92 to 93 range and see what we're working with here. Are they going? They're going for like 208. Okay, so people aren't really valuing this as a trading option as heavily as you guys would probably think. It looks like they're sticking to the 90s because these should definitely be a little more expensive if they had been looking at them. I mean, there's still decent trading values like 208. Clint Portis is okay. I wouldn't say like that's the best one. Obviously, you guys know better than me when it comes to that because I just like the training. I have to actually sit down and do all the conversions. But with the market crashing every day, I haven't made a video on it because literally whatever price I tell you will either A, change in five minutes. B, change by the next later that day by the time you're watching it. Or C, you guys will go buy exactly what I just said now that they're all viable. So it's, it's another tricky video to make. But tons of great cards you can honestly buy here for your team. Obviously, we're probably going to wait on to see how this blitz unfolds first and what cards come out. Before we make any major changes to the team, things are definitely crazy cheap. Randy Moss in the 500k range. Vix in the 400k range. I'm seeing some really, really cheap things here. But I just, I'm hoping for that new Lamar that comes out during Blitz more than likely. So at this point, I'm just going to wait it out and see what to do. I'm going to need coins, though. I'm going to need a lot of coins. But guys, as a whole, stay vigilant. Don't, don't, don't blow this. Blitz can either make or break you. If you have a whole team, let's say your team's worth 2 million coins and Blitz goes crazy tonight with like some Fire Fantasy Packs or something. Your team could go from like 2 million to like 1.5, just like that. But the thing is, it should re it might recover a little bit afterwards. So like, don't just sell because like, once it starts crashing, just wait. Wait it out. Because worst case scenario, you lose coins. Best case scenario, you make a, you make your coins back. So what I'm trying to get what I'm trying to get out there is if you sell tonight, you're guaranteed to lose coins. There's no best case scenario. If you wait, you have two scenarios. It could be that they come back up or they just stay low and you just lose coins anyways. I'm just telling you, I'd rather wait. If they do end up crashing tonight and you don't want to sell your team, that's fine because I'm not selling my team because my team's all powered up. So like I'd actually lose more just trying to unpower everything up. And then I have to buy them back because I spent so much on their training already and like all their abilities and all their chems and powering up their cards. So I spent so much, it'd be just dumb for me to just drop that investment now. So I have to stick, I have to kind of like, you know, stick out the fight with my guys. So at this point for me, it does not make sense. So I'm holding on to them, I'm waiting. But for you guys, if you have some loose pieces, like some, especially some 90s, considering the price of those 90s, I recommend maybe you cut some bait on them because people are already pre-buying. They're pre-buying that training. So you're going to get that, that premium of trading price at a uh, at a nice time right now. We don't have to worry about it. Jim Brown's on the 450k right now. I'm surprised. He definitely looked a lot better than people seem to be treating him as. Urban's about to hit 300k. Would be in the 300k range. Barry's 557. Yeah, they're coming down a little bit, I guess, because the new NFL 100 players are dropping soon. I guess maybe the hypes came down a little bit. Um, personally, I don't think they're overhyped, but I do think that. I think they're worth more than they actually cost. I'm honestly happy they did this. I'm, I was kind of happy they did it this way, but not everyone has them. But at the same time, it definitely makes it a little more easy to acquire them. Still between Dickerson and Barry Sanders. I mean, I love my Barry, but when I play Dickerson, he, I don't know. Dickerson feels pretty crazy when I play Dickerson. So it's definitely a weird dynamic to decide on who's the better one there. But guys, 
if you guys have any questions about the, your, the market or what you should be doing just make sure to be dming me on twitter or commenting down below obviously i'll get to everything as i can but it's gonna be changing hourly blitz is like every few hours we get new offers new solos new drops so everything's gonna be changing dynamically a lot so i'll make as many videos as i can going over everything trying to help you guys out and a decent coin stack to go into this like i've been saying is like 500k i think that's a decent coin stack to at least make some coins on training and do all that stuff so i think 500k is fine like 5,000 training and if you're gonna be spending money maybe like $20 just preloaded now there is no global limit so in this year you don't really have to preload just so you guys know you don't have to rush anymore because there's no global limits it's supposed to just be like if they drop a fire fantasy pack it's available for eight hours like that's just it there's no there's no there's no nonsense no fighting with other people it's just there so you don't have to rush like if you're eating dinner you don't have to run back to your, your xbox although you might want to see the first offer just to see if you don't have to run back to your xbox i will have a video guys up for you guys so don't worry about it and then you have plenty of time to go get that packed on when the time is there and when you're ready so guys that's the beauty of there being no global limits there's no more you know madden anxiety for three days it's like madden anxiety like you're like a crack addict just waiting just waiting like is, is it time to go is it time to go and finally you don't have to worry about that which is great because i used to hit last year i was in the city for a while in new york city and i was i was just i had to get home like i couldn't wait anymore but that's about it guys hope you guys did enjoy the video this should be like the second or third video you're seeing for the day hopefully i can get you guys the daily riddle and a few other things today but that's about it thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that notify boys next grind's to 14k so let's get it going we're growing crazy fast lately so keep it up thank you for all the support comment down below if you guys need any help Hit me up on Twitter and make sure to spam the like button. Can we get a Thanksgiving like goal going? 300 likes. If you made it this far, make sure to smash that like button. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Happy Thanksgiving if you don't watch another one of these videos. See you guys later. Peace.